Five, four, three, two. Hey, how's it going today? I just want to say welcome to Mark on the Mark, intellectualradio.com. I'm glad to be back. I had a little trip going down to Dallas. I had to go down and get away and, you know, see all my family and things like that. So um, forgive me for not being on those scheduled days, but we're going to schedule actual times for the days that we're going to be on now. We're setting our format now, so you're going to love that because we're going to set a format and we're going to go right to it. Uh, before I introduce a oh man, let me tell you, when we talk, we're going to talk real. Y'all know, everybody know, you know, I probably got in trouble during my career because as most of the young kids say, what is it, keeping it 100 or what, what, what is it? Notorious. Yeah, Notorious. <laughs> <Yeah>, so, <laughs> a little bit. So, you know, uh, when I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you straight. And then I want to give you a little two-minute background why um, I actually went into keeping it straight. Most of the people don't know is that as a young kid, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, rheumatic fever. And rheumatic fever is basically a hole in your heart. And uh, I wasn't uh, actually able to play sports, move around. Matter of fact, I spent a year and two months in the hospital. I couldn't come outside. I could only look through a window and see kids playing down there. But the impact it put on my life is this, is that all I had to play with every day are the other kids that were in the hospital with some other illness and things like that. I and mean, when you do that, you know what that does? That ends all race barriers because you don't care what that kid is. I want to play with him. Right. I just want to play with him. I just want to hang out with him. And then during that time, you see the families. And believe it or not, when somebody's in a scenario like that or sick like that, race goes out the window because all you care about is that person getting healthy, being happy. You see the families communicate all races, all everything. So being a young kid, growing up with that being what I saw first, um, I didn't see anything. I didn't see no races. I didn't see anything like that. And that was an impact on my life early. And it actually spilled over into, you know, how I look at things all my life because I, you know, when someone's ill, everything goes out the window. So um, I look at what I say today and the way I take things today and the way I look at sports, the way I look at anything, I look at it from its bottom value. That's it, you know, and I can't think any other way. I get in trouble about it because I look at it from its bottom value. I'm not political and I'm never going to be political. So, you know, I just wanted to uh, spill that out there. But, um, so everything you get is coming like that. Some of y'all gonna like it, some of y'all gonna like it, you know, and but we talk about it and we'll figure out where it goes from there. All right, so I'm keeping it like that. It's always gonna be like that, it's never gonna change. Um, but what I really wanna do is that from Chicago during our time, especially during my uh, high school days, yeah, during my high school days, you know, uh, you never know exactly where you're at so far as a ball player because you're just out there playing. I think, uh, that, hold on, let me do this. this because we're going to get into this. And I just well, I just can't help myself. I, I, Listen, you got I emotional, so I was I like, can't, I can't help myself. myself. Listen. Brother, oh, by the way, I'm his co-host, Bobby Reed. Reed. And he got the legend <laughs> next to him. Listen. He almost had us crying. Man, oh, my goodness. Let me tell you. Listen. Listen. Good I want to tell you like this is that um, in high school, you know, you think you're it. You know, I mean, I am blessed, and I thought I was it. And I'm, I'm sitting in high school, and I'm looking every day, and I'm saying, okay, man, I dropped 50 <laughs> yesterday. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm cold. You know, I'm, not, this is, I'm, you know, I'm the thing today. And uh, you know, I said, okay, I dropped 50. Then all of a sudden, I would look in the paper, and I see this guy, and they call him uh, 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 Anderson Mitchell Anderson. 57. I said, hold on, who is he? <laughs> hold it. And then the next night, I might have had, you know, 30. He, he come 58. I, said, oh! I, said, I thought, hold on, I'm supposed to be the coldest in high school. What is that? Okay, so we got to work but, but JJ, it. man. Yeah, this is my boy. JJ Anderson in here. The first, the first forward that I played with in high school, which was a period that was the most phenomenal ever, meaning that, and I'm going to go back to this, meaning that we were sophomores in high school, yep. we were sophomores in high school, and at that point, they had a pro league here, 
they had a pro league here. I'm a sophomore in high school. He's a sophomore in high school. And we were the first guys in Chicago to say, we're going to put a high school team in the summer pro league. High school team. We're supposed to be playing in the in the summer in the league. The AAU. Uh, we're, supposed in the, we're supposed to be in the AAU, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to be in the, uh, how old is that? That's uh, 15, 16, 17. 15, 16. What's, that's what we're supposed to be. We're in the pro league. That's what they need to do for them shorties now, though. Well, you know what? I don't know. But hold on. Let me tell you what happened to pro league. So, we both scared. <laughs> we just scared. I was scared. I was scared too. Talk close to the mic, JJ. When I hit my first jumper, I said, "It's easy." It ain't no deal. <laughs> well, see, I was so scared. I'm sitting in here. And I'm looking, you know, and Isaiah was our teammate too. Yeah. I'm sitting in here. These pros said they were scared. Yeah, I, but we weren't pros then. Look, man. But y'all pros though. Now, no, 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 no. We, I'm peeking out the window of the locker room. <laughs> I'm looking at Marcus Johnson. What? At, hold on. You know, some of you guys Johnson. might not know this. Mickey Johnson. I'm looking Mickey at Johnson. Ricky Sobers. I'm looking at, you know, uh, Rich. Was Ricky Green in the pros at that time? Yep. Ricky Green. I'm looking at uh, uh, Reggie Theus. Reggie Theus. Yeah. Uh, and then that mean had to be David Greenwood was on yep. us. Yeah, the Greenwood. He so was dead. here we are, high school players, looking out the window. It try to act like we tough. All of us scared. <laughs> all of all us scared. Everybody's scared. Isaiah sitting over there in the corner, man. I'm looking at Isaiah, man, and I'm like, did he pee on himself, man? <laughs> did he pee on himself? You know, we try to act like we ain't scared. We're scared. But uh, then all of a sudden, here we go. We're going to the day, JJ. We're going to the game. And, uh, you know, and I know you know is that one thing we were, you wasn't going to punk up. Thank you. You wasn't gonna pump Thank us. You. We might be scared away from the punker. Right. And uh JJ, who 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 I remember that first game, I don't know, was it Marcus guarding you or was it Mickey guarding you? Mickey was me. Mickey was guarding you. What you do to him? Oh, the business. <laughs> the business. <laughs> oh, man, listen. Hey. I, when I saw JJ, I was like, JJ, help me out. Because I was like, <laughs> you know, oh, JJ going after him. I was like going out. JJ, what numbers you was getting in high school? Oh, well, yeah. well, out of three pointer, forty-three point three. With a three pointer? Without, Without the three pointer. Without the three pointer, forty-three a game. Yeah. Forty-three a night. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. That's one and done hold right hold now. It, and then let me let me. How drop tall is he though? Six eight. And let me drop this on you though. And then one, then I'm gonna let him get back for him. Drop this on you. And this is why I think. It's so important for people to be in the right atmosphere for the right time with the right coach and the right thing, right? Because what I'm saying is that, and I'm pulling off, I'm keeping it 100, is that at that point in our career, ain't no way I could say that I was colder than J.J. Right. I was out of okay. line. If I say that I was colder than J.J., look, 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 I was out of line. You, you had a team, and you got a team. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Um, Come closer. Come closer. He said, can you come closer to the mic, Mick? Um, um, Skip? Yeah, we had a crew. Yeah. We had Teddy Grubbs. No, no. No, no. You said Teddy, man, high, high school. Okay. Ain't had no crew. Ain't had no crew. Ain't had no crew. But, but you yeah, ain't had no crew. But what I'm saying is, is that this is that, okay, after we had that crew, and I was telling I was telling you about it the other day, after you, we had that crew, when it came time to go to college, is the fact that, and this is by sheer God or luck or whatever only, is that when I, I told you, when I went to DePaul, Ray looked at me and he said, listen, I'm gonna show you and teach you things that are gonna sound crazy, but they're gonna help your game. And what he did, man, he showed me, man, how, where they're gonna be doubling me from. Uh, how to get leverage, how to play angles, how to do all of these things. You called it the type of martial art. What you say? It was, kind of, it was kind of like uh, Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Because you know, I would it's use it's other tai people's tai weight against them. <laughs> right. You know how to play the box. You would push me long enough. I would give it and then get by you. Right. So that kind of interferes with you coming away from me, right? Well, but you can draw. Yeah, true. I can well, draw. Most, most big guys can't draw. True, but that's another thing. Right. Ray made me put the ball on the floor. And then what I'm saying is that now I go to DePaul. He dropped him on number nine. He goes to a different school. You go to Bradley, right? Yeah, yeah. but he goes to Bradley. But the thing is that Bradley, 
he didn't have time to mature and get that space like I had. He had to come in right away, like, and then he got double team, triple team, you know, kill him. All through oh, college, oh, they were double every, and triple every, every, like Everything, that? triple team. But see, I had a decent crew because I had Gary Garland, I had Curtis Watkins, I had, but I had a, a little growth room. You know what I'm saying? And when you came in, it was like, we put three on Mitch Hammond. Yep. We put Dang. three on Mitch Hammond. Yeah, we put three on him. We put three wow. on him. But see, now, going back to the, uh, the, uh, the uh, pro league, when we came out of the pro league, all that, what I'm saying is that we were 16, 15, right. something like that. And How tall I, were you then, Omar? I was still about 6'5", man. <laughs> uh, I was, we was all yeah, I was nice 6'5", and 15, 16? Yeah, yeah. I, I was 6'7". He was At six, 15? Seven. Yeah, he was 6'7", yeah. He was a big boy, big boy, big boy. <laughs> but let me tell you, though, <clears throat> so what came in is that this Chicago, this Chicago, how Chicago brought up, we came in there like, okay, y'all pros, but then they tried to punk us. Yeah. Hold it, they tried to punk us. Yeah. Hold it. I never forget the first time out, and it was like an incredible experience. My, this might have been an experience that made us pros. We came on the bench, and we getting handled. Yep. Man, do you remember that? We getting handled. How many bro. pros was on that team right now to this day that was on that team? All of us made the pros. Damn! Doc, all of us made the pros. Mitch made the pros. Isaiah made the pros. Doc Rose made the pros. I made the pros. Oh. Everybody. Oh. We had one more pro. Everybody made the pros. Oh. Damn! Eddie Hughes. Everybody made the pros. Man, come on, everybody, oh, everybody went to the pros. But see, that was y'all summer league team? But this we was, was high school. High school, though. right. So... So, so now to get you right on top of it is that <laughs> that's only even happened. Let dude. me tell you the best moment of all, man. Look, I'm telling you the best moment of all, man, is that when we came to the bench, we looking at the bench like this, and I'm looking down at JJ. I'm looking at Isaiah. I'm looking at that. I was like, you know, man, look, I don't care what's gonna happen, but I ain't gonna be pumped like that, you know. Yep. Mister JJ went off first. I never forget. What you do, JJ? JJ? Hold it, we throwing the ball about nine times in a row. You know, I with Mickey and one of them guarding mm. nine times in a row. Hold it, jumpers, dunks, <laughs> buckets. I was like, geez. But see, JJ had one of them games where he his jumper started everything. Right. And he can put it on the floor. And he, he can put it on the floor. And plus, oh, plus he was six eight though too. Woo. He was six eight though. So man, let me tell you, in that gym. We were in the bottom of a uh, uh, Malcolm, Mal- Malcolm X. Right. In the bottom, and a lot of you guys are here from Chicago, you know, bottom of Malcolm X. Listen, we was down big numbers. Oh, man. Big numbers. Man, we came back and won that game, dog. It was over. It was over. Hold it. After that, all the pro teams, <laughs> some of them started not showing up. Right. Oh! oh. oh Supposed to be on that team? Because no. <laughs> we, we, young kids, we like, we, hey, we play what's the name of next week? Yeah. Right? Weren't we? we were they like, stopped hey, showing they were, up? Huh? They started showing up. They stopped, they stopped showing, up. showing up. No, but see what I'm saying is this is the forward, my first forward that I played with, that when we played together and we playing against pros, I was like, JJ playing with him like, ain't no problem. And so I'm, you were like, well, Mark, what you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what you gonna do? Right. You know, ain't no problem. But um, I want to say, uh, back in high school, though, uh, we we played to see who was the best. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because yeah. if you if you win in Chicago, fuck that. Excuse me. That's the truth. Yeah. That's the way you felt. Yeah, yeah. 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 We will uh, stick no. Say, Tim, if you win in Chicago, you're the best. You're the best. Right. right. You're the best. you absolutely Chicago the best. The best. Yeah. Got the best basketball player. Uh, one team was all downstate from Chicago. Only one. Right. That's when it was like that. See, it's not like it is now. Right. See, right. now they got. But they got one eight, two one eight, 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 eight. No, one team. Right. Everybody. So you had to beat everybody. In the state. In the state. In, 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 in the game was. At the amphitheater. Amphitheater, yeah, it was at the amphitheater. <laughs> yeah, at the amphitheater. That's old school. Yeah, that's old school. At the Whites used to break out at in concerts at that month. Yeah, yeah, at the amphitheater. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, you know, and you just look at those, that time in those years is that you got Mitch on the floor who went to the pros. 
You got Doc River on the floor who went to the pros. Yep. You I got Isaiah on the floor that went to the pros. And you got myself on the floor that went to the pros. But looking back then, and then looking now, you'd be like, Yeah, y'all went Chase. to the pros. Uh, yeah. like, Whoa, yeah. yes. Now you can tell the real life. Are you kidding me? All five of yes. y'all six with a six, five or six. Oh, okay. Anthony Brown went to the pros. Anthony Brown went Anthony to the Brown. pros. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hold it. Hey, what I'm saying is that, listen. What class was that? Class I don't of know. what? That was a unique time, man. What were you y'all graduated from high school? 89. 89. 89. Eight, eight, no. No. Uh, no, no. 79. Uh, 79. 79. Yeah. So that's a class of 79, class man. Of, but I'm saying We that, have to bro. put that up against, uh. Yeah. Hold it. And in the summer league, let me tell you, it got to a point, and I don't know, you know, a lot of you guys are all over the country, but let me explain to you about this particular summer league, you know, um, this at a college. Chicago State. Ch uh, no, this one was at Malcolm X. It's at a college. People came to see us after that. Right. They didn't come to see that there'll be a pro team that played before us, but they playing another team. There'll be some people in there. But when we came in there to play, Chicago came to see us play the pros. Matter of fact, we were we were the draw. We were what? We were the draw. We were That's the draw. nasty. Yeah. High school players. I don't That's know if that ever happened. Man. I don't know That's if that nasty. ever happened before. That ain't never happened. No. Because once y'all yeah. broke through, uh, the, the level of the game was at such a high peak. Because y'all was the first ones to break through like that at that level. And what I'm saying is that I don't know of any ever during my time of any other tournament that allowed, they didn't allow high schoolers to play. Right. You played, you know the other little tournaments hey, that you play with your right, right. kids. Yeah, yeah. But, but we, but, but, uh, Sergeant Carter, you know Sergeant Carter? Yeah, I know. Sergeant yeah. Carter. Little Vegas now. Sergeant Carter, Little Vegas? Uh -huh. Okay, this gentleman, he was a police officer, and he woke, he came to us and told us, he says, remember he said that? We all like, act like we was okay with it, but everybody was scared. He said, we, we gonna put y'all in the summer pro league. And I say, well, how can we do that? He said, there's no rules to keep you against it, and y'all need to play against the best. That's nasty. And Anybody want to talk to Mark and J.J. Anderson, man, y'all call in, yeah, man. man. Holler at them, man. Y'all holler. 223-8953. What is it, what is it, Big Mark? 708-223-8953. Man, we're being radio. scary, man. We get off listen, ad, everybody listen. be sending us messages, man, we was going to call. Now, whatever it is. <laughs> so now, 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 I want to go there. First of all, you know, we only got so much time. And I'm keeping it totally in the top. Now, when we talk about this pro thing, Everybody, you know, and LeBron, I know him. Know him well. Talk, real respectable guy. I know you know him. Yeah. Good guy. Yeah. Good guy, man. But it's, it's not to compare Michael Jordan as, as, as with LeBron. You can't do right. it. Right. No, you can't compare you can't errors, it. man. It's not it. fair. No, no, you can't do it. Right. So what, what, why would, when I look at it, I look at it the same way. I say, well, hold on. I say, uh, you're crossing errors, first of all. Mm -hmm. Long time and you can't ago. cross the arrows, but you know, and the way I look at it is that LeBron is dominant. Yeah. But when you talk about Black Cat, Black Cat, different monster. I know. Different monster. But, but he had to go to y'all in Detroit. Right. In the East, LeBron is nobody. No, there's nobody. If you think about it, if you think about it, when Jordan, when we talk about it, is that after the Pistons left, I mean, he had free reign. But he had a roll. After, after y'all whooped his butt. You know, now, 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 that's when he went on a roll. Yeah. And then if you look at LeBron's situation now in the East, he on a roll because he, you know, look, at, look, at, weak team. look at this team that they had. Look at this team that they had, man. You got a call? Uh, I, hey, we're going to drop this call in, but we're coming right back to that, man. We're coming right back to right that. Right now, just push on, right? Yeah. Yep. Carla, you on, man. What you got? What's going on? Uh, What's happening? Man. Give it to me good. Don't come with no fake question, man. I don't want to hear nothing go crap. I hope you know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll come correct. Come correct then, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, What's your name and where you from? This is English, and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. You from Detroit? Detroit. Detroit. Okay. Okay. Right. We're listening. Man, come on with it. Motor City. So, so I got a question for Mark McGuire. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. 
if you if you were on that Pistons team, on those two back to back championship teams, do you think the Pistons still would have won with Adrian Dabney? They tried that before. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to come with a real question, man. They tried that before. I just want to know how this is being, you know. Let me, let me drop it to you, and I'm going to give it to you in a term that you can understand so far as basketball. And if you remember, and you're in Detroit, Good before I got there, think about it. Did you ever hear of Joe Dumars? Uh... Before, you come, 80, 80, just think 80. about it. Before I got there, Joe Dumas was averaging six points a game. Right. Yes. So when I got there, I got double teamed all my life, everywhere, wherever he's going, I got double teamed. And I had to let Joe play. Joe, listen, if I get double teamed and I throw the ball back out to you, and Adrian Dantley had him programmed to where he wouldn't shoot, and he'd throw the ball back into him. Joe Dumas wasn't, um, he, 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 there was no Joe Dumas. Matter of fact, there was no Dennis Rodman. Call from one, six, three, five, you didn't hear me. So it wasn't the open it up for everybody else to, to I had to, to, I had to tone my game down in order to include Sorry, Dennis and Joe. Which was hard. Well, let me let you know, man, because you know I was used to throwing buckets. Thank you. But I had to, like, tone my whole game down, and I used to go to Isaiah's room late at night and kick his door, and, you know, I, I'm, I, I, I'm not happy with this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got a guy on me. I got a guy on me. Hold on, hold on. I got a guy on me that when I meet him in the Western Conference, he's so scared when I walk out on the floor, he getting 40 regardless. But now I'm playing with y'all, I'm only getting him 20. He happy. He got off the hook. He happy. But, you know, so AD wasn't going to do that. You know AD wasn't going to do that. AD was a ball stopper, you man. You know he wasn't going to do that. He didn't hold that mother the whole you shot clock, man. You know he was a ball man. stopper. Huh? I, I was on the team with him. You was on the team with AD. <laughs> uh, huh? And if Joe G did average 27 in that first final, he got that final MVP, right? Yeah, but hold it. Who was playing with him? Yeah, y'all was <laughs> oh, all right, so you answered your own question. Yeah, it is. All right, man. All right, appreciate you, man. Yeah, you can. Oh, man, come on with your other question, man, from the motor. All right, all right, so CP3, my favorite player. Right. Cole. Cole. When you compare his game to Isaiah Thomas, what, what similarities do you see and what, what contrast do you see? What, what's different you wanna, about that you game? You want to answer first? Well, uh, CD3 will share the ball, and Isaiah too. But when the game gets close, Isaiah take over. Isaiah takes the game over. Right. He takes the game over. I tell you what, when I see them, um, what I see in comparison is their IQ, their intellect, mm -hmm. meaning that they understand where the ball needs to be. They understand what's the soft spots. They understand where it got to go. Uh, and I agree with uh, Mitch is the fact that, but when it's on the line, Isaiah's like, listen, man, give me a little space. <laughs> give me a little space and let me do what I got to do. Okay, hey, I got another caller, man. I hope I answered your question. Let's go. Man, thanks for calling, D. Thank you. D time. Hey, I don't know. Come on, man. There you go. You on Mark in the Mark. Who are, where you at? What's your name? What's up, fellas? This is uh, Jay Four Man from Chicago in Atlanta, man. It's a pleasure to talk to you legends, man. I love what you brothers are doing. Well, I'm glad you like it, man. Ooh, Let man, me tell you, the only again. forward in my life, why are you checking this out? That I ever said, but he got game nice as mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. What's your question, man? Check it out, man. You guys are from that era, as you described, man. My question is this. With all this fancy training you see these new guys doing, you know, it seems like in you guys' era, you guys play street ball and worked out. You know, it seems like training, you know, man, all this two-ball dribble and stuff. What are you guys' thoughts on that? How much do you think it really helps guys' games versus, you know, just hooping? You know, uh, talk about that if you would. None. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. 
You got to get up in the morning and run. You got to shoot by yourself. If, if somebody want to rebound, just somebody to rebound. If you're going to dribble, dribble by yourself. You, 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 got, you haven't nobody to push you back. I don't know nobody. I don't know that. That ain't gonna happen today. Right. That's but not you talked again. about trainers, though, man. Man, let me tell you about. I'm he talked about, about, about let that. Let me tell you about these trainers, dude. Listen, I'm saying this. Wrap that call up. Yeah. Wrap them up. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm answering your question now. Let me tell you about this. Uh, these trainers, man. These trainers. Let me tell you. I learned to dribble the ball because I had to dribble five blocks to the gym that I was going to on the concrete. Man, you will walk all the way to the park, Junior, through your legs, man. Hey, listen, do you, do you know how many people do that? Everybody can't do that. Trainers, listen, I think they're a waste of money, they're a waste of time, and you don't learn anything. I think once you get older, you'll need them, but not not early. We got another call on the line? Another call on the line. They did it blowing us up, man. I want to go. talk about some of the <laughs> Let's go. Who, 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 who we got on the line? Call, what's your name and where you from? My name is Joe Smith, calling from uh, Kansas City, via Chicago, Illinois. All right, what's Big up, man? The show. What's happening, man? Uh, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, Bobby, you know Bobby well from back in the day, over 100th era. I know him very well. What's up, Bob? How's it going? What's going on? Who is this? This is Big Joe. Big Joe, what's up, Mike? What's happening you know, with you, man? How you man? doing? Man, it's all good, man. It's all good. My question is, is basketball related about the NBA in its current state? More importantly, about my OKC Thunder? And Carmelo Anthony and uh, Russell and uh, PG. You know I'm going to bring you 100, so I hope you uh, don't be upset with what I bring to you. Okay, go ahead. My, Everybody got their own opinion. Go ahead. In my opinion, I think uh, PG is going to go ahead and resign for one plus one just to see to move forward with that core group to see what they can do. Who going to sign? Who is that? PG. 13. Paul, Paul George? George. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's $40 that. million dollars on the table be leave. Okay, go ahead. Well, hey, let's say that's a... I'll okay. probably get like 35 million per for the next two years. Okay. My question for Mark and you guys is, do you think with that core group, they can go for the conference? You want to go drop that? <laughs> hey, now he now he was in the uh, 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 in the GM's office too, so he had to do some of that trade and stuff when he was in Memphis. So what, what do you think about that? Yeah. If, um, what's the book pass the ball? <laughs> what's the book pass the ball? <laughs> right, but... Reading the stat guy, he's not gonna pass. He's not gonna pass. Man, Melo couldn't make a bucket this year either, though, man. Let's man, not let me tell you. Man. Let me Mello tell you. Melo stunk it up, Joe. Let me tell you, my little Mello, piece. But to Melo's credit, though, he had to change his whole game for 15 seasons playing at one, 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 one pace, ISO score. Right. He came up to be a pull up three shooter. But after one season, he had to give him a couple of years to change his game to, you know, to, get that, to get that right. You know what I'm I saying? know you love your OKC, right? <laughs> Let me tell you, you know your OKC. And I told him this about Durant, and I'm a, uh, I told him this about Durant. Sometimes you have to give in order to go forward. And you have to respect your teammate and sometimes be led by somebody else. I told uh, Bob when I first came to Detroit, we were playing a game against Boston, and Isaiah was one for 14. I had to lean across the bench and say, hey, listen, man, stop shooting. <laughs> hey, hey, Zeke, stop, man. Look, could you pass the ball, man? But, but respectful enough to me, understanding where I'm coming from, he looked at me and said, yeah, draw. Look, I said, yeah, stop shooting. Man, these shorties won't but, say that to each other now. What I'm saying here is that with Kevin Durant, Harden right. and Russell Westbrook. If we had seen that crew together, no, you ain't going nowhere. Right. But no, listen, Harden though, was we, the sixth man. Now. But look, I did, look, this is what I got in trouble for with Derek Harper. I had to go up to management up top and say, listen, I'm not going to drag out these games when my best point guard is on the bench. Right. And I would have went upstairs to them and say, listen, Harden has to start. Right. I'm right. the one winning these games. Right. So, you know, but I got in trouble with stuff like that. I hope I answered your question. Uh, we got another caller yeah, in? Oh, man, hold on. Hey, you own Mark and Mark. What's your name and where you from? Johnny Chicago. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, Mark, I remember back in the day when I was in Austin. And uh, Austin had Eddie Hughes. You remember him? Eddie Hughes, Roach. We yeah. played on that team. Right. He was yeah, on that team. You played on that, on that squad. You had Eddie Johnson, Hughes, Kim Phillips, and I think Bernard. 
John Randolph. And all we had on our squad at that time was Eddie Hughes and Anthony Jones. Right. Mm-hmm. And another guy named Joe Jackson. I know them. I know them. And, and I don't remember he came down. Y'all beat the hell out of that guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure we did. <laughs> I'm sure we did. Go ahead. And, and, but you was in Austin at one point one time, weren't you? Yeah, I was in Austin. Well, you know what? I'm going to say one thing about that, and I hope viewers and everybody can see it, is that, you know, I told a little piece earlier that uh, because of the way I grew up with rheumatic fever being in the hospital, race doesn't exist to me. Right and wrong exists with me. And there's a gentleman, he was a white guy. His name was Gary Peckler. He was the head varsity coach, right? Okay. And uh, what happened was, was that there was a sophomore coach his name was Felix Brown. And they saw me and AJ and all of us getting ready to blossom when this guy was, you know, bringing us sandwiches. You know, we didn't have to eat. He right. was burning his gas, picking us up, driving us to these summer league games. He, right. was, he was taking out his family's mouth, right. basically, to help us. You know, he didn't have to do none of that. And then when they saw this crew coming, they fired him. Oh. Man, I went down. So, well, another thing is that the uh, the biggest issue, that's one issue I left, but the biggest issue is that they let me play uh, after missing 147 days of school. I think it was 147. And then when my mom came in and she found that out, you know, she kind of left her words. <laughs> uh, and forty-seven. How many days? Was, I don't know. If it was, I think it was. A, it was too many days. It I might always have tell my son, Michael Jordan didn't right. get good going to class, <laughs> and he just told me that too. I said, man, no way, heck, he was going to class, no, man. man. But hold it, don't no, but, but that was. But I mean, I hate to go. That would have stunned me. But when I went to Westinghouse, everybody went to school. He said he got one more. Okay, real quick, man. I got to get to my boy JJ, man. We got to talk about the pros. Go ahead. Go ahead. I remember when he was at Metro. Metro, JJ. Metro! <laughs> I didn't even know. Hey, am I right, JJ? Say what? When you at Metro, then you average like over 40 points a game? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Baldwin was balling, man. Oh, cold. I don't think nobody yeah. averaged that, them numbers. Hey, I appreciate you, man. He did. Yeah, bad boy. Oh, I don't, I don't think nobody's average that since you. Man, mm-hmm. call in the uh, next time, man. Thanks for calling, big dog. You. Thank you, man. Appreciate Love it. Love you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody in the state of Illinois has averaged 40 since you. Ever. Man, please. Wow. Has anybody ever averaged 40? Voice and Winners averaged 40 points. Voice and Winners averaged 40 points? Voice and Winners did? Uh-huh. He averaged that many? Dang. I remember him. Was he cold? You took too long. He wasn't cold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, let me let y'all know. This is ball of the ball. When you had that little pause, that little pause in it, you nah. ain't cold. You ain't cold. Let me tell you, man. And, and, and let's get on this uh this this NBA thing. Back on this NBA thing. And everybody said we're watching LeBron, watching LeBron. Like I said, I love LeBron. I love. I, I love the way he handled himself. I, know. I love. He ain't. You know, you're not tell, making him say stuff that he don't want to say. Right. No. You know, he ain't trying to be politically correct, but he ain't stepping on no toes. Right. And you know in the NBA, you got yeah. them guys that, you know, go to company line and they do the, you know, the thing, even though some of them are jerks, they still do the same thing. But I don't think LeBron is the linchpin in this thing. I think Kawhi Leonard is the linchpin. Right. I think that LeBron, LeBron has done it all. I think LeBron's sitting back saying, or they talking, and you know deals are done before them, before you get them. You know, you'd have been up in the front office. Right, right. Whatever this deal is, it's already done right. right now. That means Kawhi and LeBron that said what they wanted to do, and then they throw it off to the team to say, y'all figure it out. Because this is what's going to happen. Right. Regardless. Regardless of what y'all say. They unrestricted. They understand, but I'm saying is that and they can't like stop it. But they can't stop it, though. Right. But they put in the paper earlier that, um, go ahead, J.J. You put in the paper. Don't no. believe the paper. Don't okay. Believe the paper. Don't Talk that. close, J.J. LeBron, I mean, uh, <coughs> Kawhi, he got one year to go, and he going to play that year out, okay? Now, San Antonio got to trade him. They got to trade him this year, or right. they get nothing for him. Right. So they got to trade him now. Right. 
to get something for him before the end. And Quiet had set out a whole year, and yeah. he said, I can cross my legs another year. Now y'all totally out. Right. Yeah. Done. Done. Yeah. But while I, all I'm saying is that when you look at the scenario, when you look at the whole situation, is that people think that when you read the paper, I right, look back to me and Isaiah when I left uh, Dallas. That deal was done way before anybody knew that deal was going to be done. That deal was signed, ink, and delivered at least three months before, not three, I'm sorry, three weeks before. It even hit the fan. It was done. It was like, People okay, were, unless you would have had Stephen A there, you had telling all the business. But listen, let me tell you, I love Stephen A. LeBron them ain't telling Stephen A that. Right, Listen, right. it ain't. Look, they are not telling Stephen A that. He's, He's making it. stuff up. He's making. Well, what I'm saying is that Stephen A, you got a great show. I love you, brother. But you and I know, come real, is that LeBron ain't telling you that. No. And then talking about that text message, I don't yeah, believe that. Listen, man, show me the text message. Yeah. And what I'm saying is that on LeBron's situation and Quiet's situation, brother, I love you, Stephen A. But this is business, man. I can't tell you that. No. You're right. I can't tell right. you that. I, this is business. This is our livelihood. This is my championship. And I can't allow that stuff to leak. So when you hear all this stuff about, oh, sources said, ain't no source said nothing. I've been there, done that. Right. And they just create the new. That, that, that they, they just creating bull crap. Creating new. the buzz. That's it. The just buzz. to make people no, watch. Now, he might get Stephen A, that little tidbit, 24 hours before it go down. Yeah. You know hours? what I'm saying, JJ? Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen yeah. that happen. He might, listen, they're not, me, I done been through it. I done been right. through it with Isaiah. I've been through it in Magic's office. I've been in the front office. Right. Yep. I've been on the other side. Stephen A ain't never been on the, in the making decision in the executive office side. He ain't right. been in that side. Now, he think he got boys. He might have boys. But we're not telling him that. We're not telling him that. Stephen A, he be lying. No, I ain't going to say he lying, but yeah. Go ahead, JJ. West. Yeah, that's right. You did work with your right. with Jerry West. Right. Yeah. He was, he was telling you the, the day it happened, and then the owner said, "Why did you? Why, why did this get out?" Jerry West said, "I don't know." I don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't know. So what I'm saying is that they, you can't do it like that. Right. But they know no business though. I but guess everybody we thinks one year left, they be knowing. Well, I mean, you can speculate. Right. Right. You can speculate. But like Brian bought a new house, twenty five million dollar house in LA. But what I'm saying is that now so he going hold, to, hold, hold up, hold up. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. How you know? I don't know, but he opted out. Well he gonna opt out right. anyway. But how, how you know go to school there. But, but how you know? Who you know his kid go to school now? His school uh, how you know? Board school over who there. said that? Documentation who who he said that? plays AU ball there. Who said but oh this summertime. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not right, but what I'm saying but is But until that it come out, well, then... Right. Okay. You're right, Ma. You're no, right. Well, he, he bought a house in L.A., all right? When his career is over... That's you know, where he want to live. Right. I think that's where his wife wants to right. live. Right. I don't blame him. But that's where I want to live. But what I'm saying is that, you know, uh, and I'm not saying everything is right. Nope. No, we're in Chicago. Right. right. Chicago. I'm not saying everything is right and everything is wrong, right. but, you know, you can't... I mean, from my experience, is that... The big deals go down quickly. Right. Like when you seen the thing uh, when uh, talking about what's the kid that went to Boston? Kyrie. Right? No, the boy Kyrie, Kyrie and LeBron. That deal was done way before we got any of that stuff out on the thing. Cause you first thing you heard about Kyrie is that I'm on the block. No, Kyrie wasn't on the block. Kyrie was traded already. Right. Kyrie was traded. You think it was dissension between them? Uh, you think it was real turmoil, turmoil or that? Uh, 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 or was it no, business? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got to look at, at the film. When LeBron turned to Kyrie and said, You can't do that. Right. Right. You can't do that. You have to do that thing respectfully. Oh, he got in his face talking crazy? Right. You got to do it respectfully. Because, well, I mean, Kyrie is a killer. Kyrie is a killer. Man, 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 killer. man, that man got so much... But you know what, though? On the other side of that, there could have been a little respect, you know, and then I'll give you guys some more of our piss and stuff. I don't know if I told you guys before. Because it was hard for me, man, because I'm going into a situation in Detroit where most of y'all just came on the team to play with Isaiah. 
that ain't where I came to the NBA. I came to the NBA to carry a team. Right. You know, so my role was totally different than any of y'all understand. Right. I come to carry a team. So I came in, and uh, the first thing when I knew there was a difference is that uh, a reporter came up to me and asked me about Michael Jordan. We were playing in Chicago. And uh, I told the reporter, I said, uh, you know, make long short, I said that Michael Jordan, the best player in the NBA, right? Yeah. But see, I'm a killer, though. Larry, uh, Bill Lambeer said, you don't ever tell anybody he's going to I say so. That's when I knew I say so. You don't have the mind of a killer. The mind of a killer said, I can say he's the best player. Yeah, you can say that, but man. But he better not switch off on me. <laughs> I'm crushing <laughs> He better not. He better bring Horace Grant back down here. Well, he can't bring Scottie Pippen over here. He can't. He, he too light. Couldn't think about guarding me. Not even a question. Y'all gave him a headache. <laughs> say, well, y'all don't know where he got that headache. Had migraine. No, what I'm saying is that, you know, uh, JJ knows. Scotty. I wasn't looking at no small forwards. Yeah. No, one of those small forward come over to guard me. It wasn't gonna happen. So with Lambeer, I was like, you don't understand is that you 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 have the role player mentality, which is good. You have, have the what? The role player mentality. Right, right. <laughs> you know a killer, a killer is a killer. You know Killers don't kill. Because Larry Bird would say, Oh man, he's a fine player, but he trying to crush you. Speak to that though, Mar. He's trying to crush you. Settle it. that that argument about Larry Bird, man. Ooh. Would y'all settle that, man? Cold. This is personal yeah, right yeah. here because you, somebody Cold. posted something Cold. about Bird the other day. Cold. Talk about Bird. Look, I played against Bird my freshman year in college. We were, we were down there. He scored 50 points on us. <laughs> Damn! He dropped 50 on us. Yeah. Yeah. When, when they came to us, Dick put two guys on. He put two people on. Larry <laughs> Bird went and stand in the corner. Said, "None of my other guys gonna kill you." Let, let them play. Let them play. Let them play. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, I mean, I think I've told people before, and I'm not disrespecting anybody in the NBA. And if you think I'm disrespecting you, I don't really care. Because, because what real is real, and I told you I'm keeping it 100, is that when I played small forwards in the NBA, my fault, I didn't play small forwards. They would switch off. They ain't putting them on me. I have power forward on me. I wish I'd have had small forwards all my life. But so, when you talk about the forwards that was cold, and a lot of people go off all the height that they put, da, 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 you know, because they fit the mold. Mm -hmm. But when you went to Boston, Cole. They don't get his guy no credit. When you went to New York, Bernard King. What was, what was uh, Cole. Uh, Kevin McHale's nickname? Minnesota Tall. <laughs> right. Kevin McHale, let me tell you, Kevin McHale, that's another guy. Minnesota who, Tall. Minnesota Tall. Kevin McHale, look, Kevin McHale was undoubtedly, other than Elijah Wan, Kevin McHale, one of the best post players I've ever seen. Yes. He, he yes. one of the best post players yes. you ever seen. Kevin McHale, Ooh. if you didn't go double Kevin McHale, <laughs> somebody was getting tortured. <laughs> <laughs> they getting tortured up under there. You hear me? That's you know, they, on the right oh, shoulder. Oh, you couldn't yeah, no. hey, Minnesota yeah. tall. Hey, good That's guy. Nasty. Too. Hey, hey, good guy. You know, when they give all those guys bad raps, man, you know, when I played ball for the team, I wanted to crush him. You know, I, I, you know, I'm going after them, right? But on an individual basis, man, Boston guys was cool, man. Like, yeah. you know, the Boston guys were cool. When you got out the court and when you did, man, they were cool, man. But, you know, they had what everybody didn't have, like, thing that we had, what, too. 13, 14, you know, the fact that when we get on the floor, you ain't my buddy. Right. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. I think Dennis Johnson made them legit when he went to that point. Right. When he remember when he went over there, didn't when they, but wasn't no busters back then. No, but, but, right, it wasn't. Wasn't no busters. But, but, but I, when I was playing with Andrew Tony, Andrew Tony, jeez, and he said, "Watch this." He played against Boston. He was, he was a he Boston, was a Boston killer. Stringer, right? Thank you. He was a Boston killer. Right. Yeah, Andrew Tony was a Ooh, Boston killer. He was getting 40 at night, too, wasn't he? Yeah, oh, they didn't want to do nothing. He would stand you up all day <laughs> and Andrew shoot. Tony, <laughs> Andrew Tony, they didn't want to do nothing. But you know what? The, the, yeah, when I look at that, man, that's the, when you talk about today and yesterday, I can look at two or three teams when I say, 
Whoa, they got cold in every spot. But when I go back to our area, y'all go look at this. It was cold everywhere. Yeah. Right? What I'm saying, it was cold everywhere. Because if you go to L.A., Kareem, Worthy, Magic, Cooper. And, and Cooper. Byron Scott. By, but I'm saying is that now, where are your week at? Right. Where are your week at? Kirk Ramos will come off the bench. But I'm they saying had this, McAdoo lately. But I'm saying is now, who's the, point, who's the point guard in the finals this year with Cleveland? What's his name? Uh, you know, I'm not just. Oh, uh, he the one that missed the free throw, and, and J.R. Smith play. caught the rap for. Yeah, no, this is it. No disrespect, brother. He you missed the free throw. You can play, but what I'm saying is, look now, look at that Laker team. Okay, load it, hold it. And what I'm saying is now, let's just move over to. Yeah, but you you know on the Lakers, Cleveland, you don't know. No, you don't not know. that team he had. He shouldn't have blew it up. He got rid of D. Roll, D. Wade. I mean, Isaiah Thomas, the little show, he had it. Yeah, some but, what, but, but, he, but what I'm trying to say is that in our era, there were no weak holes. But, but, what no holes? Okay. What no weak holes? Okay. Okay. We got drafted. We got that drafted today. 30 teams. We got drafted for 23 teams. Yeah, it was right. So it wasn't. It wasn't that many holes left. So it was. It right. Was, so it wasn't as. It wasn't as diluted. See, it's kind of diluted now. Yeah, because yeah. it's sixty picks. Yeah, and sixty two picks. Round, yeah, it was, yeah, sixty picks. Mm -hmm. yeah, they got all this other stuff too, man. It's way more you know, and then, but then, hold it. Hold it. Here goes the other thing: is that. And I, you know, I'm gonna try to get it clean and clear as I can. Is that. In my era. Unless she was Korean. You wasn't holding no spot at 38, 35. Right, right. It's, I'm taking that job. Like, who, oh, you dog, you you had yours. And not that I'm coming in saying that I'm trying to halfway take it. At the end of this practice, you're going to say, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you I mean, said if you I, ain't Kareem. If, if you ain't Kareem, but right. if you go back and look at what no... 38s and no. Oh, no, listen, Mister, I'm taking that job. Yeah. And now, in fact, you gonna give it to me after I get through dropping <laughs> you, after I get through busting you up for about. What happened like that? Cause Isaiah had a, uh, he went to Detroit. He had Rory Sparrow as his uh, the point guard that was in front of him. Yeah. And uh, he was talking about this ain't gonna take but a week. I like Zeke. What are you talking about? He said, "Man, I'm busting him up. <laughs> I'm busting him up." So you uh, see him live. Why y'all calling me? But when, when I went to Philly, yeah, Dr. J and Bobby Joe. Ooh, you know, the Mo Cheeks wasn't there. Yeah, he was there, but I, I played small forward. Okay. And I went to Utah and had Avery Bradley and John Drew. Okay. You didn't have my room. Right. They were young enough to keep playing too. You had no room. Right, you right, had no room. Right, <laughs> no, those right. were ballers. Those were those were ballers back then. Right, right. But go thirty eight. You didn't. You couldn't go thirty eight during our era. You wouldn't. But you see guys now. You know, teams were kicking you out because listen. They putting you out. They put you you Mike played till he was thirty eight. Yeah, but that's black cat. Okay. Come on, man. Mike a different monster, man. You know. Different monster. He got hurt one time in, in his career. Did he hurt one time? Wow, I didn't know that. Didn't when, know. when he broke his foot. Who you talking about, Mike? Mike. Yeah, he did. He got broke his foot when he was out uh, his rookie year. Right. He broke his foot. Remember, he was out that year, and that Randolph never didn't want him to play. Mm -hmm. And they kept monitoring his minutes, and you know he Mike. He broke was, his foot. Yeah, yeah, like a second year in the league. Right. Yeah. I cannot believe that. That's yeah. the only in the, oh Mike, I'm cool with you, man. That's the only injury I ever had was broke my foot. Yeah. I broke mine my first year in the league. It was leading the older. I was leading the league in scoring. Woo! I remember that, Mike. Mike, Mike I remember you leading the league in scoring. That was the worst injury I ever had so far as timing because I was gonna lead the league. I was gonna be one of the first rookies to ever lead the league in scoring. Man, they couldn't guard me. I was like, y'all, are you serious? Once I got in there, I was like, oh, can none of y'all guard me? <laughs> none of y'all. Uh, look, at Doug, from, I was going in. What was you having in 29? I was having, I was leading the league in scoring. Right. And I was 16, 18 games in and broke my foot. Dang. And bro, hold it. But it was like, I was from the day one, but that's what that pro league helped me with. Right. 
when I walk in from day one, like, give them dude, sweet. Give them the business. Like, sweet. Day one. But, uh, oh, man, see, you know, but you know what? I want to, I want to ship one more time here. I don't know. Oh, hold on. All right, we, I know you got to go. Uh, I want to ship about two minutes, and I want to ship for this. Is that. <coughs> All the NBA players that I know that are working to get a title, all you guys out there with all your, you know, your hopes and dreams and things like this, you know, a few of y'all are going to bust y'all bubble because if you see your team not putting the work in or not and describing the work that they're trying to put in, Y'all not getting it. You're not going to make it. When you talk about, like we talk about Golden State, when you see Golden State talk about what they're doing and mm -hmm. how they're trying to get better, and then you look at them, oh, you can see, like, oh, y'all are really trying to get They're trying to get Dwight out with this shit. Hey, well, I'm trying to tell you, you know who, you, let, me tell you, let me tell you a really crazy thing. It won't happen, but... You know what would be the best team for LeBron James to go to, in my opinion? San Antonio. Utah. Yeah. Utah? Over Utah. there with that young boy? Utah. Oh, they loaded over there, too. Utah. He might end up there. Look, I'm telling you, it, it ain't going to happen because right. it ain't a big enough stage for LeBron. But I'm saying just so far as basketball and its totality is, when you look at what they got and what they missing, you put LeBron on that team, they'll win right away. Right. Hold it. And they challenged, oh, what I'm saying is that Houston had Golden State until uh, CJ3 went down. Right. But did you see the, the games against Utah and Houston? Man, Houston Utah, was, I thought they were oh, going to beat them. Utah was in the I, I, good. I know. I yeah. thought they were going to get them. Mitchell, he, he was. Oh, Ooh, nice. Man, and man, what I'm saying is that they played team basketball. Right. Yeah, LeBron will be able to play comfortably and do what he does because you ain't finna cheat, you ain't finna do nothing. And that coach, they better start giving him more credit. Let me tell you, that coach, coach in Utah, you know, and I say is that what I'm saying is I ain't got no 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 black and white in me. Well, that him, he can coach. I don't know if they put him in a thing for the coach of the year, but he should have been. Right. So he's the coach. Man, I know you got to go, man. Man, give a shout-out to all things hey. NBA basketball. All things all NBA, things, yes, sir. Give it out to hey, the guys, glad man. to be a part of the out, family, man. man. Listen. Give a shout-out to Playmakers Listen. Radio. The Playmakers Radio, man. Hey, yeah, shout-out to them young guys. Mark talking to them. Two man. Yeah, I'm talking Intellectual to Radio, too, man. man. Our home, our lounging pad, man. Shout-out to Intellectual Radio, hey, man. We all appreciate y'all, man. And we're going to do this again. And what I'm going to do next time, man, is I'm going to the floor a little bit, man. I got to show y'all some things that they lying to y'all about, that they teaching y'all, you know, and I'm coming 100, and then I'm going to tell you, show you how they lying to you, and then show you how it's really done, especially for you young ballers, man. Let hey. me ask JJ something, though. So what you doing nowadays, real quick, before you get out of here? You you got limos, right? You got limos? Yeah, I, I drive a limo three days a week, and then I take care of my mom. That's, what, that's why I came back here. Okay. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I heard man. you had to come take care of your mom. Yeah, man. yeah. Well, I, I drive with them more because everybody at work. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a great business. Man. Well, let me great tell you, business, man, man. I want you back, and what I really want to do, man, is that I want to spread your knowledge of the game. Okay. And we're going to make sure that, you know, I we going to hit you all the time, man. I want you to basically roll out, man. And drop your show in here, man. But uh, okay. I, yeah, 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 I want to make sure you. And then you can go. Now you know we got connections all over oh, the league, yeah. you know, so we can have anybody we want on the show. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah, we can have anybody man. we want. You know, that's so huge, hey, man. this is my boy, only brother I know that I thought could put it in a hole better than I could. To this day, day, JJ Yanson, my boy JJ. Appreciate Thanks for you, popping back, JJ. Man. Man. Thank, you. Man. Thank you, thank you, man. Thanks for letting me dream as a young man. Mark, uh, we can keep chopping it up, man. JJ, uh, yeah, out of here, man. We can keep chopping it up, man. Take a break. We're yeah, going to take, take a, a five-minute break. Break, right break, break. Uh, break, yeah. break right quick. Take a break. Break, yeah. Five-minute break real quick. Man, I'm going to holler at you. Hey, let's get a picture. Let's do the, uh, I'm going to do the break. Take a break. Yeah.
Wait till he get back. I can start without Jill. I don't. I'm gonna leave him on that long. I can't read none of the uh, questions. Huh? I can't read none of the questions. Huh? No, they just, they just say who's gonna draw. No, I'm saying I'm probably got the questions on my phone. No, if you had another device. Hey, so I'm going. You have your other phone. I gotta, I gotta get out. You have your other phone. No, you don't have your other phone with you where you can use that. Um, no, you can set it up next time. Okay. But are you going to continue your numbers? Are you hmm? going to continue? Yeah. Or? Because um, nothing going on. But. Okay, well, let me get the goodbye. This is too much, too big of a break. So it's way too big of a break. Okay, let me close them out then. And then I, I, come back. Come, come, come back. back. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're about to do. I'm going to tell you. You can keep going here. It's just your Facebook people you need to be acknowledging. And in the meantime, talk to your Facebook people. We can wait here. Yeah. I'm still on, I, I got my Facebook going on? Yeah. Oh, man, listen, you know, I'm stuck in technology. Hey, listen, I want you guys to um, think about what's going to come up next is that I'm going to give out my lineup. I'm going to start giving out my lineup probably uh, Monday or Tuesday. And I just appreciate everybody from uh, really, really uh, chiming in and being uh, uh, proactive and giving me questions. And Bob's going to come in here and walk, right? In front of the camera, and then I'm, I'm not too much. Uh, What's up, big dog? But I just appreciate uh, everybody, you know, uh, sticking with me. And what I really want to do is during the week, I get everybody to hit me up, and they hit me up. But what I want to do is I want to start uh, getting back with you and using some of these topics and uh, really uh, not from the letting our uh, Facebook users be a part of the, uh, our discussion, creating our discussion. So, you know, if you guys really would chime in, man, um, uh, well, y'all chime in. And uh, I want to use you. I want to go that way. Let's come back here. Now ready? Let's come back here, too. Now. Hey. One second. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Hey, welcome back, man, and I want to really um, give a hot thanks to uh, J.J. Anderson, you know. Oh, um, man. Uh, and I think basketball at that point, you know, I know everybody's everywhere over the country, but, you know, as I'm, as I'm concerned, college, I mean, basketball was, in that time, was the biggest in the entire country, you know, here in Chicago, because, you know, we had just first-round All-American 
Dicks. We had just. I mean, the, the, the six you just named that y'all played yeah. together with, man, yeah. all went pro. Yeah, all that's play, that's all, massive, all dude. Playing, all playing on the same team. That's all massive, man. Team. All y'all graduated the same year. Yeah, all of us went in the league the same year. That's Isaiah class was the of seventy nine. Isaiah was the youngest. He came yeah. after y'all. He he went to Indiana and won it his first year, right? His second year. His second year. His second year he won it. Shout out to Zeke, yeah, man. Shout out to shout Zeke, out to Zeke man. That's my boy. Tell y'all me. boys been winning y'all whole life, man. That's amazing, man. Well, you know, that type um, of atmosphere. But, you know, it's the competition level, man. And, you know, you guys that are talking to young players and are seeing young players, man, you know, uh, one guy called in and was talking about the training and all that stuff. And stuff. Man, listen, how you get a game is going out competing against Pick the up. best. The best. And when we talk about MJ, when we talk about MJ, MJ in his world, whatever he does, he wants to win. You know, I think Jane Worthy said that, you know, he was winning a few games until MJ got there. And in his DNA, he wanted to win all the games. You talking about that in college? In college. Oh, yeah. and so when Mike came there as a freshman, he... Yeah, he, he was, challenged he them. Was challenged them. Challenged them. But what I'm saying is that that's what you got to do out there. That's what I did. That's what Isaiah did. Man, you got to challenge You got to go people. in there and take what you want. Well, if you in there just dribbling around, running around cones and, you know, seeing 50 shots, that ain't real. No. That's not real, man. We do a plan every day, man, three, four that times a day, man. Mama, mama come home. You know, we ain't have no money, so you know that shoe. That, that hole be right there in the bottom <laughs> of that mud. You got to put that sock back up in that boy. Come on, man. Hey. But Mark, I want to ask you this, though. I couldn't wait to get here because we were talking yesterday. Yeah. And you were telling me, man, you taught a couple of guys your game. Yeah. Well, um, I did get to teach a couple of guys my game, you know. And uh, there's, that's that thing I'm telling you, you learn from playing against each other. I'm talking about the guys who you told me. Yeah, well, the, well, first it happened when um, Donnie Walsh and Isaiah. Isaiah was the coach at uh, uh, the Pacers. Mm-hmm. He called me in and said he wants to build his team. So I basically helped him build the Pistons team, you know. Uh, uh, the, uh, the Pacers? No, I helped him build the Pistons team, too. The Pistons team, too? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, we were going to do it again. So he asked me to come in. I was just supposed to come down there two weeks, go home two weeks, and do it like that because I wasn't going to be, you know. Living in Indiana. Well, just freaking yeah, had snow. I don't live in Texas, oh. man. Come on. Oh. Oh. Snow, man. So, Chicago do it. Yeah, man, it's snow. So, um. I came up, and he and Donnie Walsh talked about going to Bill, and they asked me to go see uh, Jermaine O'Neal. He was at Portland at that time. And I went and saw Jermaine, you know, and I'm keeping it 100 with everybody. That's exactly how it went. Uh, I went to Portland, and I saw Jermaine, and I looked at him. Uh, his uh, high school coach was a gentleman named George Glimp, who I love, love him, man, good guy. Um, and when I came back, I don't pull no punches. And they said, well, what do you think about him? I said, you know, with the right tools, and if he works like I think he'll work, I said, he'll probably be an all-star in about two years. They laughed at me. They absolutely laughed at me. No way this wiry 6'9", 16. Uh, well, Portland was getting rid of him. Right. Portland was getting rid of him. And then, you know, then he said, well, okay, well, we want you to give your assessment of who plays exactly like me. And I taught him like me. Was Al Harrington. Mm-hmm. Al Harrington. You taught Al Harrington everything you know. Man, Al Harrington would call me up at 12 at night and say, hey, come over to uh, Lifetime. Right, right. Lifetime. Come over to lifetime. Lifetime. lifetime, man, and I want you to show me more of the moves. And I taught Al Harrington most of my game. Right. You know, when they look at him, if people know game, when you look at Al Harrington, his game is a lot like mine. Yeah. All, all that footwork. Yeah, all that footwork and that pound. That standing up, just stand you up. You know what really got in? me? What really got me is that the first time he was in the game and they were running the play. Reggie Miller was on his team too. They were running the play and they ran the play around and somebody switched off on him and the ball was on the other side of the floor. And Al said, Stop! Bring it around here. Look what look what I got. <laughs> like, did he just stop the whole play and say, hey, look what I got. Bring it over here. Right. And commence to putting torture on people. And he he's always he said, Jaws, yeah, my game nicer than yours. I said, Al, your game ain't nice. He can't beat the he can't beat the teacher. Oh yeah, that would be mad. And Jonathan Bender was a part of that that group too. Right. All of them was high school boys. Right. Every, each one of them came out of it high school. It was tall too, six nine. Yeah, each one of them came out of high school. Wow. And it's all about 
I think they should be able to come out of high school, Ma. What you think? You know what? I I'm not against them coming out of high school. You know, I'm not against them coming out of high school, and I'm not against them being paid to stay. You can figure that out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you figure out how you got to pay everybody else that's a part of the NCAA organization. Everybody getting paid but the players. Right. And the guy that's putting down the wires on the floor, he getting paid. He getting paid, boy. The only one that'll get paid is that kid that's on the floor. Right. Come Facebook, on, they said they give you a scholarship. Okay. Everybody ain't getting uh, a scholarship. Hey, no, I'm down for education. I want everybody to graduate. That's the thing I want to happen. But do you really think that's fair? I don't think it's fair. I think they should all be get a league minimum of hundred thousand dollars a year, and I would like to start with my son's just <laughs> right but, now. But you know the problem is, is that uh, you really have to think about it because uh, okay, in college when you put them, uh, you got to put them all on the same salaries. Right. You know, right you that's fair. You, you can't. You, you know, well then you got somebody who don't play at all. That's all right. It's the dudes in the NBA doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I went to well, a game with my guy. I, I forget who that dude was. Blake, one of them dudes. I, I just sat and watched him on the bench. He, he didn't get off that. Hey, man, bench. all the guys out there, man, we, how, how many different groups that we got out there? Dude, we got a lot of groups out there following us now, man. Man, shout out to all the Facebook groups, man, that's uh, chiming in on yeah, here. I mean, uh, man, thank y'all, man. First of all, again, back to uh, all things NBA. Uh, Christopher, y'all, y'all cool, yeah, man, man, down there, man, in Jersey, you know, in uh, D.C., you know, in Indiana, man, Good. shout out to y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man, uh, helping us at Intellectual Radio grow this show. And what I really want y'all to do is that I'm fortunate to be able to touch probably anybody and everybody. And, you know, I won't get them all at one time, but give me some ideas of different guests you would like to be on. Right. And uh, if I don't get them on this way, believe me, I can long distance get them on. So uh, we're going to start doing that lineup, you know, and get guests now. You know, um, and you know, a lot of my friends are ready to go, so we're gonna we're gonna build their guest list up. So. That's gonna be huge, man. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be massive. We're man. gonna have fun with that. But yeah. like I say, I'm keeping it like they say, 100. You know, everything um, is not gonna be politically correct with me. But go check me. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. You know, so we're gonna we're gonna go at it like that. Hey man, uh, yeah, tune in to my show tomorrow, man. Chicago Million that radio show, my boy, that Mississippi Slab and the Gibbs brothers. And Mark might double back down tomorrow. I'm not on my coming show. back here messing with him. Man, I get enough of all that. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't want nothing to do with you, man. I don't want nothing That's to do with That's all good, you. man. So, what you got yeah, closing yeah. for everybody, man? No, you know? All I want to say is that uh, when you come back, I'll answer it. I'll keep it totally from the cuff. I don't care where I cross. I'm not going to let no lies come through here. And I'm, you know, I'm going to give you an opinion on what's going on, so don't be fooled. And I don't think a lot of people give you the honest opinion of what's going on. Some will. Go follow know. Mark on Twitter, too. What's your Twitter handle again, Big Dog? Oh, what is it, man? You know I don't be Oh, man, that. just look now for Mark Aguirre on Twitter, you man. We just opened it straight. up yesterday. Follow Mark Aguirre on Twitter, man. I'm trying man. to keep it straight, man. I'm trying yeah. to keep it straight. But, hey, listen. It's nice here in Chicago, and I'm going to get out here. Me too. So, hey, appreciate everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be back with you. Your boy Rob, Bob, Robert Bobby Reed up out of here. The host. All right, baby. The host with the right. most, Mark Aguirre. I'm out. Baby. Let's go, baby. I'm out. Shout out town, man. We doing this for y'all. Big dog, man. We did it again, man. We did it again. Shout out to J.J. Anderson for See, coming up in here. He's telling you to stop. He's going crazy.